Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. PHP 8.2 has already arrived and there are so many things added to this version. In this video, we'll be looking at read-only classes with practical examples. So let's get started. Currently, I am here in the online php.io website where we can check multiple versions of PHP. Here, I am checking for PHP 8.2 and 8.1. As you can see here, I have written here this class, the normal user class, and there are two read-only properties, name and email. And this is the constructor where I am assigning and just creating a new user object with name and email, and I am just dumping it out. This thing works on both PHP 8.1 and 8.2. If I execute the code, then you can see here it is running perfectly fine. But in the latest version of PSP, which is 8.2, we have read only classes. We can do here read only like this. And now we don't need to write this over here. We can easily remove these two, which means that if we want all the properties of our class to be read only, then we can use this read only. We don't have to write read only multiple times on the properties. Now, if I run this code, then it will work perfectly fine for PHP 8.2, but on 8.1, it will throw an error. And this is not the only thing that is related to the read only class. There are also some other things that are tweaked in this PHP 8.2 version. Now, if you just see here, if I try to assign a value to a dynamic property, then also it will not allow us. So let's say here, user password equals to wow, then it will give us the fatal error, which means that we cannot create a dynamic property user password in the PSP 8.2. So you cannot assign a value to a dynamic property on the read only class. Similarly, the other thing that you need to know is the read only doesn't work on the enum traits and interfaces. Let me show you over here in the enum. I have this user type enum and if I run the code, then it will work perfectly fine for 8.2 and 8.1. But if I write here read only like this and execute the code, then it will give us the syntax error, which means it doesn't work for the type enum. Similarly, it doesn't work for the trait. So here, if I write read only and execute the code, then it will again give us the syntax error. Similarly, it doesn't work for the 8.1 as well. And for the interface also, if I write read only over here and execute the code, then it doesn't work. Also, one thing that you need to worry about whenever you are using a trait with a read only class is that you cannot use a trait with a non read only property on a class that is read only. So here a class user is read only, but the user name trait has a public or any kind of property that is non read only. And if we try to execute this code, then it will give us an error saying that read only class user cannot use a trait with a non read only property username name. And now let us look at the final thing on a read only section is that you always need to have a typed property whenever you are using read only class. Okay, now here, if I say public password like this, and now let me just remove this thing from here. So you can see here the password doesn't have any type. And now if I just execute this code, then you can see here read only property user password must have a type, which means that it is very strict. You have to add a type over here. 